guys, it's Leah with Midtown Comics. And I'm Henry. And we're unboxing for you today. Ta-da! The Saint Seiya Gemini Saga God Cloth guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. It's from the most recent Saint Seiya anime series from Soul of Gold. Came out a couple years ago. It's really cool and really awesome. And it's a great series, a great figure. Yeah, he's really cool. So let's show you the box first. All the boxes are always this crazy. I'm Everywhere. I must say, Saint Seiya is some of the coolest boxes. Yeah. Because the packaging's so cool. Like, you'll cool. want to have the box next to them when you have them displayed on your your stand or your shelf or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, your, you know, altar. So you see how cool and elegant and, um, like, just how, like, epic this figure is. And a little story there. Some cool, like, little art of him, like a trace there. Side of it, you see this really cool altar piece. Huge. The back, you can see he's got... Now, a lot of nice flowing hair underneath that yeah. helmet. Some cool action shots. It's really cool. The Saint Seiya Say series has been around for so long. Yeah, it's really like cool. Yeah, like the, the mid-80s. Yeah, yeah, it's been around forever. And it's awesome that there's been such a cool, dedicated fan base for it. And that they've made so many cool high-end figures for yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, if you are if you love Saint Seiya, these figures are like Is the end-all, be-all. Yeah. Figure. So let's show you the figure. We got him all ready for you over here. He's quite a doozy to put together. So here you go. We did it for you. Yes. Look at him. Super cool. He's super awesome. Super awesome figure. Of course, you guys can see he is shining right on you. Everything is a metallic finish. And this is all metal. Yeah, it's actual metal, metal. Like this, this figure this has some weight. Looking like metal. It's all. It's got. It's all greased up and everything. It's yeah. really great. It's really cool. Here, we'll show you what the figure looks like. Now, this is one of the alternate heads that he comes with. Mm -hmm. He comes with a wide variety of different accessories. Show off the back here. Now, these wings are really cool. They are all articulated. Yeah. So they can actually extend, you but can they're have also. Them flying up, flying down. Yeah. One up, one down. Whatever you want to do. And they're finger. like triple articulated. If you can see that joint work right here, you've got multiple joints so they can go this way that way and rotate so whatever flying position you would like he looks appropriately posed it's not going to be like very flat it's a very dynamic a, dynamic that's the yeah. word that is a really good word to describe him really cool and over here we can show you his his hair yeah he's got long got his, awesome hair all this cool little pieces i think we can hair. actually swap out that hair the you hair try it yeah that's actually really easy so as you can see, he comes with a number of different heads. Mm -hmm. This helmet piece is actually a separate piece. We can just pop that back yeah, into the box. Yeah, all of the clothing that you see him wear, you have to pop on. It's pr it's pretty easy to do. And the hair is really cool. Very simple. This one's actually, this isn't metal. This is a nice rubbery yeah. material. And it just slides in, and it's all form-fitting. See how quick? Pop, pop, pop. And boom. Now he looks appropriately garbed. What's cool too is that it's all multi-pieces, so he's actually got multiple pieces, so you can layer in the hair. Now the hair, that part does not lay if you have him wearing all this armor. Um, if you got the wings down, it just has a simple little hole you put it right through there, and you can kind of, I think you can bend it around and move his hair. Yeah. So it can flow a little bit, but with that, it's, it doesn't work out. It does not, but it is still very cool. But you can see on the box. His hair does kind of move, you can see in the back there, but yeah. you can't put him on really with that. And also, you can take off all the armor, everything. Yeah. So you can see here, we, we already assembled him for you, but you can remove all of the armor. It's all completely uh, metal and comes off really easily. If you want to swap him out for a different head, different hands, all that stuff does come out. What I really like is that if you go inside, I can't really show this off on the camera, but he actually has individual pieces that lock in the metal yeah, plates. Yeah, like this, um, this like little like uh, piece right here, it has a little metal, like kind of like a belt lock. Yeah. So when you put the snap it on It's his belt buckle. It, it's his it, belt buckle. You just kind of yeah. slide it in like a little key. Yeah, and it's really cool and it's really nice. That is because this is one nice piece that wraps around his body. So it's all really well I think done. the only thing that 
snaps together, like you take it apart, snaps together, is like his middle piece because you yeah. can't really put that on. But or the else, shoulders, just kind I of think put that it was on like a like a jacket. Yeah. Yeah, and the shoulder things. I'm gonna swap them out. out. Maybe take a look at one of those other faces. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. one. He's like, oh, I'm ready to defend you. If you're so not. the face once again that just slides off. Almost kind of creepy taking off a guy's yeah. face. Yeah. It's always weird when we take off the, the anime figures' faces because it's like, oh no, oh no. Let's put the hair back together. And I actually really like the way that the helmet looks. Yeah, I like that helmet too. Give him a nice epic pose. Whoa. That looks awesome. That's really cool right there. And you can have see that detail work. Two other heads. We'll show you real quick. We won't switch them out. We'll just let you take peeks. So he's got like this one closed one. Maybe he's like praying or taking a second before battle. Asking sleeping. The, asking the gods. Sleeping, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the armor could be comfortable. You don't know. Yeah. How often do you wear metal armor? What's the difference between these guys here? Hmm. It looks like he just has two sleepy, sleepy heads. Yeah, I think one of them's a little more docile. Yeah, one's just a One's little... a little more pleased. But it's also cool because then if you want to have them kind of preloaded and you can mm -hmm. take one of the heads and you can pop it into the helmet and have yeah, it waiting. Yeah, one on the helmet there, one there. So yeah, it's a really cool figure. Once again, maybe show some of the detail work here. Might be a little hard to show up on film, yeah. but it does actually, there's a different paint used. So there's gold and silver layering. And everything's raised too. So it's like yeah. these, these little like swirls you see, they're actually like engraved in. Take a look at the back right there. That back plate, super cool. He's really awesome. He's a really great he figure. He doesn't come with a base, though. He does not. We will need to, um, we do sell these little ones here. Yeah. You could probably put them on there. And, uh, I think Bandai puts out, they have a number of different sale, yeah. uh, stands, and they do, like, explosions and stuff like that, so if you want to have a really cool, epic pose, you can get explosions They're always under, like, $15. Yeah, they're, they're really the max for amazing the, the price. crazy, like, big explosion-looking ones, so... They're not going to break your bank. You're going to get the separate stand for it. No, definitely not. But we do have some cool hands. We have one that's pointing. It's pointing up. He's like, I'm ready. I'm the one. <laughs> you can call him out in a battle. Ah! And then we've got some open hand ones. These guys, little hands open like that. Those are, I like his little gloves. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah. They're very fashionable. Very cool. And you'll notice on these gloves, they're all customizable. You can actually put on... Ah! The little gauntlet wow. onto his glove. Look at that. Oh, that's so for cool. For added finish detail. Very nice. I love it. He has hands. He's showing off his nails. Oh. Now we've got these kind of like gripping ones. Or you just kind of like that. So, yeah. They're great. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, here, I'm going to pull out. We're not going to assemble right now because you would need to take it apart. But there is an entire section for the altar piece. So there are all these other detailed ha detailed parts, praying hands. It'll be a part of that altar, part Super of the display. Cool. Really cool. And I can't really assemble it right now, but everything you can see has these little joints. This is what he'll look like when you do. Yeah, when very straightforward. It does just attach that simply. And you can build the entire thing. It's a really great piece. And really cool. Now, how much is it? Only one twenty. Yeah, hundred twenty dollars. That's a great price, especially when you consider that it's metal. It's all metal, and it's all diecast parts, and it does come. It, they've coated it so that it won't like rust and won't yeah. wear very easily. So, it's got a greasy feel to it, but it's not like leaving anything on your hands. It's just like moisturized. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's just to keep it, you know, in nice condition and looking peak, and giving it that shine that yeah. makes the metal look so great. It makes it look really nice and cool. So yeah, he's really cool. We'll have a link below for you to buy him. He'll be in our stores. Yep. Does Ready come out this home? Wednesday. Oh, awesome does figure. Stand very nice he does own. stand on his own. Yeah, you just so have to be you careful. Don't really need that base, I've been playing with I've been playing with toys long enough. I say that and then it falls. He was standing earlier for like he can do it. most of the video actually. And then I just put him in poorly. There we go. Yay! Awesome figure, really cool. Check him out. Saint Seiya Gemini Saga.